Hi everyone. Now we will talk about directives in Angular. See, directives are very important feature as well as you can see that they are most commonly used feature of Angular application. Whenever we are making any uh, Angular application, either they are small or either they are big application, we definitely have to use directives somewhere. Uh, let me give you one example there. We know that components are very essential thing of Angular application and whenever we are making components, one default directive will also create it automatically there. Right. So which is that I let you know, but first let's talk about the points. Okay. So first of all, we'll discuss what are the directives in Angular. I'll give you some example definition and all there. Then we'll see how many types of directive we have some examples. And at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. And these are the practical example. And here in first point, we'll discuss about theoretical example. And this is the playlist for Angular 19 tutorial that will definitely help you out for Angular job project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right. So let's talk about what are the directives. See, there are two definition. I'm telling you first one is official definition. Second one is simplified definition. You can say that, right? Okay. So directives are, you can say that a JavaScript class that provide additional behavior to the elements of your application, right? And so this is the one definition. And what does that mean? Uh, I'll let you know in one second. But first of all, uh, before that, let's uh, talk about the second definition also. See, def uh, directives are the feature of Angular that help you to provide more power to the DOM elements. You can also mention that thing. Here, what are the additional behavior or what are the more power means? See, this means when we are, we are using a HTML element without directives. So this is just a simple element, but with the directives, we can provide more power, more features to the these elements. For example, if you want to hide or show them, or if you want to put loop over the elements, you want to add style, uh, you want to put some conditions, these kind of things can be done with the help of directives. And there are some examples, like with the help of directives, we can provide if else condition, we can use for loop, we can add style, we can even use multiple conditions also. And there are some name of the directive which is ng if ng for ng style ng switch and ng class so ng if for and switch these three are you can say that structural directives and style and class these are the behavioral uh, directives now what are the structural and behavioral directives let uh, i'll let you know in uh, one second but before that we have three types of directives in angular first one is component directive second one is structural Third one is attribute directive. So let's talk about component directives. These are the most common type of directories, right? And uh, as I mentioned, whenever we are creating a component, one directive will also create it automatically there. So this is the component directive. Let me give you example. So this is our app.component.ts file. And here in every component.ts file, you will find this at the rate component. So this is the automatically created directive uh, in your Angular project. Either you are making that component with the uh, angular command line or you are creating uh, your component manually you definitely have to use this one right and this is the reason why we can say that uh, they are the most commonly used feature of angular application all right okay so this is the first one which is a uh, uh, component directive second one is structural directives structural di uh, directives means uh, the directory which can directly change the element uh, you can say that uh, structure, for example, uh, with the help of ng if and ng switch, you can hide and show the elements, you can toggle the elements and with the uh, ng4, you can, uh, uh, you can keep multiple or you can provide the loop over the elements, you can say that, right? So they are, you can say that structural directives, they can change the structure of your UI and your HTML elements. And third one is attribute uh, directives these are you can say that to modify the appearance of behavior of existing element so maybe you want to add background color a uh, color size or maybe any kind of style that can be done with the help of directive uh, attribute directives and as i told you uh, the example of attribute directives are ng style and ng class these both are help us to change the style and uh, structural directives example as I mentioned, ng if, ng for, and ng switch because they will uh, change uh, the UI. Uh, you can say that uh, elements, right? They can remove or add the more elements to the UI. 
okay now let me give you a small example so that you can understand how directives will basically work and one more thing guys so this is not not the last part over the directives so there will be two three more parts on directives so there we will learn more about uh, 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 these structural directives attribute directives and how we can make custom directories also all right so now let's go to the code and so let's say uh, we have one heading tag there and this is visible on the output also there so i want to hide or show there uh, show this element uh, depending on some condition or you can say that i want to provide there if else condition there then how you can do that first of all you have to import ng if uh, in your component.ts file and that will come will, that will come from angular common uh, module all right and after that what you need to do uh, maybe you can uh, define one property there show and by default its value is true right so we want to check if the show value is true then this should be visible other this should be hidden so what i'll do there i will put there star ng if and i will check their show if show is true then it should be visible and we can say that this is visible and if i just make it false now you will see this is not visible there reason being because we check this condition there ng if show it should be true right and now we know that this is false and that's why this is hidden so this is the example of directives in angular and what kind of directive is this this is basically a structural directive so in upcoming part we'll take more example how we can use loops and uh, multiple conditions and how we can uh, modify the appearance and behavior of elements we'll talk about uh, each and every directive in this series so thank you so much for watching this part if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much guys and this is my paytm and gpay donation number